Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. So today's video is gonna be vlog style and we're gonna call this moving day because we moved a bunch of stuff in my office. It was a little bit ahead of schedule because we had only one day to use the truck to be able to move all my stuff at once instead of bit by bit and it taking forever. So we had to move that up. Anyways, just really quickly show you a couple of things and what's going on. Um, first up, my mom got me this rug from Aldi's. We love shopping the clearance section there. I think she got this for like $5. It's not Valentine's Day anymore, but I think it's super cute. So we're gonna keep that there. This is my work table that I use for filming. And we've got some random material over here, stuff left over from uh, remodeling. These are gonna be repurposed for something else. I'm not sure yet. Probably the back side of these windows. I think we decided not to do the foam the foam acoustic things here so we're actually going to insulate it and board it up and make it look like one solid wall with like a weird frame feature I, I don't know but at least it'll keep the sound from bleeding through so it's fine and we have not changed the door yet so we still have the is it a dutch door is that what they call it i can't remember oh and my voice sounds really funny because i'm actually sick right now the allergies, uh, it turned into a sinus infection real quick. So I apologize if I sound like I'm croaking or I have a frog in my throat. I don't know. Whatever the saying is, I'm sorry. But yes, we moved everything into the room and um, Devin built this bar for me. And I meant to have some photos or something of whenever, before all the stuff came in, but I forgot. And he built this to block off the pipes that were in the way. We can't, we couldn't relocate them, unfortunately, so we just kind of built this in, and I still have to finish it. We're putting a lip all the way across so that it covers these screws, and it's going to cover the support brackets like you won't be able to see it. It's going to look a lot better, and I can't decide if I want to stain it yet. I like the natural wood look, but I don't know. Make sure you comment down below. Let me know what you think. Um, this monstrosity here, <laughs> this huge thing, this was actually a custom built-in that I made or not, I mean, it looked like a built-in, but it wasn't because obviously we removed it. it. Wasn't attached to the wall or anything, but I added a bunch of trim to make it look like it was built-in. I don't know. We got this out of our storage unit and I might use this in the bathroom somewhere. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm just spitballing ideas. Yeah, and there's just some random things on top of it till I get everything situated. It's kind of a mess, like literally everything is everywhere oh and this is the lamp that Devin just absolutely despises he says it's so ugly um it's vintage i like the horse on there and it's like got a big old booty <laughs> but it's adorable i don't think i like the lampshade that's on it that's obviously not what was originally on it someone had made over this lamp i have two of them one's at home so i brought one here but also um this cart Devin tried to make me leave this board the way it is because he's like look look how well that fits under there it makes perfect sense to keep it there in his mind but i'm not like the the brackets and the screws right there like i just wanted like a floating shelf but we had to do something different because of this thing it's a work in progress <laughs> and oh another my mom also gave me this candle for the office um it's raspberry pound cake it smells amazing we got it for 99 cents at aldi's we love to shop the clearance section as i said and there's still randomness we haven't had a chance to make the shelves for the windows, but we will. I'll get to this in a second. Um, but this is probably going to be the next project that we do. I can't wait. Um, I think, honestly, this entire wall might be eyeshadow palettes. Like, we're going to have, like, a mill support here and then a few shelves going across. I think that's what we're going to do in both of them. But I want to do... Um, I showed a palettes here because whenever I was packing for this move, I forgot how many palettes I have and I have a ton of them. So hopefully they'll fit there. They might not, might still be some spillover. And then over here I'll put, I don't know, whatever else I can get to fit in there. Like I know my foundations, they'll stand up and look nice. Whatever, like face palettes maybe, I don't know. Again, just thinking out loud. And Devin still let me borrow his little table here for work or areas until I get my my desk setup, then that'll be my work area. Okay, this thing, I'm so upset about this. This is the, the Ikea Alex desk, but we had it in storage. It was perfectly 
perfect when I put it in storage, but something happened. I don't know what this is. I don't know what got on it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it off. Like it's into the material. I might not be able to. So I might end up having to do like a contact paper wrap on this. I was really wanting it to be white, but I don't know if paint will stick to this. So I might just have to wrap it and just let it be two-tone for a while. Really sad about that, but that's okay. And yeah, Devin wrote boobies on that. <laughs> we have a weird sense of humor. He he had fun there for a while just writing boobies all over all my stuff. I don't we're weird, I know. And I have some artwork that you may recognize back from like 28, like 2019, I think. Yeah, a couple of things to hang up. All the boxes are my makeup and skincare. I was planning on doing a declutter, but I've just been really not feeling well, so we did what we could. Um, I'm just happy everything's here, and now I can take my time kind of going through it. Like, this box is just skincare, and that's only what was in boxes. Like, that bag there, skincare. Um, well, that one's eyeshadow palettes. I don't think... That might be skincare, too, or makeup. I don't know. I used some of my saved box charm boxes for moving. Bunch of random stuff, and... Okay, so that's this room. Now, the bathroom I actually did clean up. I know it doesn't look like it. But if you remember, there was a bunch of stuff on the wall here and you couldn't even hardly walk in here. There was like a pathway, which there still is a pathway. But anyways, it's better than it was because I moved everything. I put everything in this closet. All of the extra material from where we were remodeling. And the reason for that is I have to finish this closet. We're going to finish putting up the wall and then I have to put some shelving in there because this is going to eventually be where I keep the like my photo supplies extra decorations like this is just going to be a big storage room and I can put extra lights in here but for now because the upstairs the landlord is completely gutting the upstairs and remodeling it we're kind of waiting to see if he wants any of this leftover material for anything I don't know if he will or if I'll end up using it but we'll do something with it if anything else, it'll end up getting recycled or tossed. You know, we'll just get rid of it. And somebody kicked in the door here. Like, this door has to be replaced. They messed it up. But, I mean, I'm probably going to wait on that. I'm not going to, like, it's just me in here. It's fine. Foam inserts are the foam sound-absorbing panels. I still have to hang those up in my room. That way there's no echoes. And more makeup <laughs> in the box to charm boxes. And this one's like my junk box, like extra stuff. It is just totally random in here. Like I even have wig caps here, like it's crazy. Extra brushes I haven't even opened. Sponges I haven't opened. This is just stuff that I need to go through and figure out what I'm keeping. And randomness, randomness. But like other than that, oh, and these two black shelves here, this is what I was using. These right here. I was using to store my skincare at my house. And you can see like the spots where they were because there's all the little dusty circles on there. But I'm going to have those against the back wall for now. I want to do something on this wall like a mural maybe. But I, that's going to have to be later down the road. We still, this would be the last room that Devin touches. Like we're not going to do anything in here until absolutely everything else is done. And yeah, there's me. I'm a mess right now. My hair is all tangled. Like I literally just got out of bed and went straight here. I didn't do anything else. I didn't put up my hair. Like this is how I went to bed with my hair. Like I had it tucked like in a little bun and I just haven't touched it yet, but I will soon. Um, but yeah, got more stuff, film and equipment, randomness. I should have palettes in that box. More artwork. Yeah, it's just, and then you know, the, the boring bathrooms, which actually have two stalls, but we have to still figure out that roof or the ceiling. It's really bad. But yeah, I'm gonna start bringing in some stuff in here to make it look a little bit more me. I really wanna paint these cabinets. They're white and I kinda don't like it, especially, like I hate this floor. That's what was in the other room, if you remember. Um, but I kinda wanna paint the cabinets like a dark charcoal gray since I'm not gonna put money into replacing the top, the countertop in here. They've told us whatever we put into it that they'll just take it off of the rent, but I just don't wanna do more than 
necessary. If I do anything, it'll be like small, like changing the, the handles, changing the faucets, and then maybe putting some trim around the mirror, which will probably be some of the stuff that was in that closet. I'll probably go ahead and use that to trim out the mirror. Maybe change a lot. I don't know. I don't, I don't think I'm going to be in here that often <laughs> to need her to change a lot. Uh, but yeah, that's a quick little update for you guys. Oh, and also the cabinets are still here. And this random pillow and curtains. We still, the landlord, we're trying to see if they want to use this and remodel upstairs. But yeah, now, that is the update. If you have any recommendations for any design ideas or some DIY projects that I can do in here, let me know. But this is where I'm going to be filming. Here in the next few days, I'm going to get just, just put together what I can really quickly and go for it. All right, guys. Hey, guys. And welcome to another update on the new studio, um, my filming room. So I started unpacking some stuff. You probably saw in the last video where it was just a bunch of boxes. But now I have kind of just started pulling, pulling everything out of boxes and trying to see what I have because I really did pack in a hurry. The ugly lamp has found its new home over there. <laughs> we'll see how long I keep that lampshade. We'll, we'll see. But I got a bunch of random stuff in here. Got some of the furniture in here. Tables put together and I have a chair. And um, I moved some stuff around in here. I haven't really unpacked a whole lot. I ended up putting my shelf in here that I built. That's not where it's going to be permanently. That's just for... Now, um, I'm going to put in this little section, like I have some washcloths, some hand towels for whenever I'm washing my face in the bathroom. And uh, my skincare is going to go in here as well for now because we still don't have the shelves built in the windows. That's probably going to be the last thing that we do. Well, not the very last thing. Last thing I'm going to do is replace the lights in here, but I'm not in a big hurry to do that. So yeah, I've just been cleaning the bathroom and trying to get stuff. I mean, I'm just trying to figure out what all I have because some things were in storage and I hadn't seen them in a long time. But the the biggest thing that we've done, I'm a little bit aggravated with it, to be honest. It's the bar here. I finally put the lip or the, the edge on this. And because the pops are back here, we made that temporary so that this section can actually just pop right out if they need to work on it. And that's why we had to break this up into three boards. This middle section here, we can just take that off instead of taking off the entire bar if we if we need to get in here. It's, and I still gotta do a baseboards here. It's very unlikely that it'll happen, but I would rather be prepared than not. So that's why we did it that way. But the problem is we used boards that were, <laughs> our Lowe's hardware, you cannot get a straight board there to save your life. That They're always bad and there's not really any other place to go around here for lumber. So it is twisted. And like in this corner, it dips in and there's gaps there, which is fine. I can fill that with wood glue or wood filler or something or another. But this aggravates me to no end. Like this isn't level here. This is really bad. Like the wood where it's so twisted, it will not line up here at all. Like I don't know what I can do to fix that except maybe just sand it down and call it a day because I don't want to do much more with it. Um, and then it bows out down here a little bit. But as far as the structure itself, like you can put a lot of weight on here. Like that's solid. I'm really happy with the way that turned out. And here's the wood that we got from Lowe's and you can see like it twists really bad. Even this little piece here. Yeah. A little, little disappointing, but it's okay. And the other thing that I wanted to do, I wanted to put my Alex desk, I wanted to put it right here so that it would kind of open this way for my, just more makeup items, but it's too wide. It won't go there. I'm so sad. So I'm not going to put it there. Instead, I might put it over here against this wall instead. Maybe, but now I'm not so sure because since that one turns so much, it may look a little bit weird. I don't know. Okay, I almost forgot to show you guys all my little organizers. Like I said, a lot of this has been in storage. Um, some of it's been in the background of my videos, but a lot of it has been put away. And there's actually some still that I have to unpack. 
So like my little acrylic shelves that I got from Ikea. And how many of you remember this BoxyCharm box? I don't think this was the first style of box that they had whenever I first joined, because I've been with BoxyCharm for a long time, but I know this was one of the earliest. And then this one came after that. It's got sawdust on it. <laughs> and my little organizer that I got from Marshalls. I absolutely love this. I've had it forever and I will not part with it. Same thing as this. I've had it forever. I won't part with it. And a random wheel. Um, I think I have a clothes rack that that's actually supposed to go to. But yeah, some more um, organizers. Acrylic everything. But I may end up eventually redoing all mine and getting a set that is more cohesive than what it is right now. And that one's Jeffree Star. I've had it for a while. Um, yeah, sorry I keep going to um because I'm trying to think of what to say. And there's more Ikea. I always get people saying that they like my orchid, that it's, that's really pretty, but it's fake from Ikea. The best purchase ever made. It's one of the prettiest fake orchids I've ever seen. And speaking of fake, my little Dollar Tree um, fake terrarium. <laughs> I really like the way this turned out. I have a bigger one that I'll put somewhere else here in the room. And then I got these from Shop Miss A. These were $1.88 and the best price. If you go to Shein, they're like $7 there. So definitely go to Shop Miss A first. But you can put your eyeliners in there, pencils, brushes, whatever. I was using it for eyeliners and brow stuff. More containers from Marshalls. Lots of lipsticks. And these. I, I normally just use this one because it's huge. These actually don't hold that many because they're not as deep as the other. So you actually are not able to put a lot of your like lipsticks and lip glosses in there. You have to get the big ones to do that. I will link down below a couple on Amazon if anyone is interested in case you want to buy some for yourself. And I'll make sure that they are at least this deep or bigger. Hey guys, so that is the end of the most recent update. I still have some things I figure out here, and I just feel so weird right now because I'm using a selfie stick to hold my camera, and I, I feel like a, a Gen Z are doing this. But anyway, I still have a few things left to do. There's going to be some more unpacking vlogs. I'm just trying not to make each episode so, so, so long, so that's why I'm breaking it up into different parts. So just stick around. There will be another video on the unpacking makeup really soon. And thank you so much for watching. I hope everyone's having a great day. And I will see you in the next video.